sama-sama. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to a brand new video on my YouTube channel. Today it is Sunday and I'm coming to you all cozy in my bathrobe and I just came out of the shower and washed my hair and I am coming to you with a video all about self-care and just good relaxing vibes because I feel like we can all use a Sunday to just reset ourselves, take some time out of the day to unwind. So I already finished this very natural makeup look. I'm not wearing any falsies today. And because I'm kind of going natural and kind of effortless today, um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to wear my hair in my natural waves. And recently I kind of adjusted um, my hair care routine for my natural waves a bit more. And I thought it might be interesting for you to see what uh, steps I do differently now to create my very like beachy and effortless wave my uh, curl pattern or wave pattern is 2B slash 2C and I hope this can also inspire you to wear your natural waves or curls or whatever texture you have a bit more. I'm going to start off with blow drying my hair obviously and the blow dryer that I'm going to be using is from Panasonic and this part of the video is also kindly sponsored by Panasonic. This is the Panasonic Nano E EHNA 67W. So a little bit about this blow dryer. The reason why it is so cool is because of the patented nano -E technology. And this technology ensures that your hair doesn't get as damaged from, for example, everyday um, brushing, from um, heat damage. So it actually kind of puts back moisture into your hair, which is mind blowing to me. Aside from the nano -E technology, the blow dryer also comes with three different nozzles. First of all, you have this nozzle, which is a concentrator nozzle, which is great to use for that perfect blowout. It also comes with a diffuser, which is perfect for uh, natural waves and curly hair. So this is also what I'm going to be using mainly in this video. And then last but not least, it comes with a super interesting nozzle because this is an oscillating nozzle, which means that it actually goes back and forth. So you just have to hold your blow dryer instead of going like all these different directions. So with the oscillating nozzle, it goes back and forth and this movement evenly distributes airflow, which prevents hot spots and provide a faster and more gentle drying experience for your hair. And also when it comes to the settings of this blow dryer, you have a cool, warm and hot setting as well as low and high settings for um, the speed. And then there's also a cool shelf function. So that's everything stats wise about this blow dryer. Um, and if you're interested in checking it out, definitely check out the description box because there's more info there as well as the link to shop it. So if you're on the market for a new blow dryer, now is a great time to check this one out. So I'm going to start off with using some heat protectant and I'm using the Drunk Elephant Wild Marula Tangle Spray. Um, I really like this heat protectant because it smells very nice and it also doesn't weigh my hair down. So I just spray this pretty much <laughs> anywhere in my hair. Next up, I'm also going to add some curl cream. This is the Way Curl Cream, and I really like this curl cream because it adds some definition to my hair without making it too like greasy and heavy because a lot of the curling products that I use kind of weigh my hair down too much. And I love very big and voluminous waves, so um, I don't like to use too like heavy products, if that makes sense. I'm going to start off with the oscillating nozzle. Okay, now that we blow dried pretty much the top of my hair, you can see how much volume there already is. But now I want to add a little bit more of a texture. So I'm going to be using uh, some curling mousse. This is a curling mousse from Dove. 
I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's not that the product is bad per se, but it's just the fact that it actually one time burned my hand, which is pretty crazy. But now I'm just finishing it up because I don't want to throw it out. But yeah, I would not necessarily recommend this uh, curling mousse. Normally I used the one uh, from Kirsten S and I think that one is way better than this one. So I use quite a lot, like this much. And I just go through my hair until I pretty much coat it everything. Now we're attaching the diffuser and it's time to diffuse the hair and how I diffuse it is that I always put it on a low speed setting but a high heat setting. So I just finished blow drying my hair and as you can see I have tons and tons of volume blow drying my hair with uh, this Panasonic Nano E uh, blow dryer and um, the diffuser setting. Yeah, all the info uh, will be linked down below if you want to pick up this blow dryer yourself as well. And now it is time to get dressed and get started with this relaxing day. <laughs> skin and if you are a long time follower on my channel you know that acne is something that has been a struggle for me for many years more than 10 years already I think it's 12 years since I've been struggling with acne and I'm 26 now and I have pretty much tried everything because these months that uh, Sebastian is not here I really want to focus on bettering myself doing things for myself, moving on with my life, I thought, you know what, I should maybe go and talk with a dermatologist. So I went to my family practitioner and she wrote me a referral and um, a few days ago I had my very first appointment with a dermatologist. Um, I've been to a dermatologist before in the Netherlands but I really didn't like him and he didn't help my skin whatsoever so that kind of traumatized me to go to a dermatologist again. But I thought, you know what, this is a different country. I know that the US is a little bit easier with prescribing like medication than in the Netherlands. They're very difficult with prescribing anything in the Netherlands when it comes to going to the doctor. Um, so I actually received or received, I got these three products. It cost me $300 for these three things. So um, yeah, it's kind of a lot of money. I didn't expect it to be this expensive, but I guess, you know, beauty has a price. So um, I wanted to show you what I'm going to be using for the upcoming two months. So first of all, I am using this cleanser that contains sulfur and I have to use this um, once a day. So I use it in the morning and then I have to let it sit for one to two minutes because it really has to start working and then I rinse it off and at night I double cleanse my skin and remove my makeup. So then this adapalene and benzoyl peroxide gel is um, something that I've tried already before but it was in uh, I think stronger amount, stronger percentage and it was also two different products. I used Differin gel and Duoc gel and that really broke my skin out um, in the sense that it just got so much worse and I had such dry skin that it was almost eczema-like. So the dermatologist said that this would be better and I have to use this once every other day at night. 
um, and also obviously use a moisturizer with it use SPF because I'm able uh, or I will be able to burn faster with this um, and then when my skin gets used to it I can use it every night and last but not least I also got doxycycline doxycycline I don't know exactly how to pronounce this but this is an antibiotics that I have to take for one to two months at least and I have to take two pills a day, one in the morning with food and water, and then uh, one at night, two hours before I go to bed, also with food. Um, and currently I have been taking it for like a few days, like three days, I think, two days. Um, and I have noticed that it makes me really tired. I haven't really noticed nauseousness because apparently that's very common. Um, but yeah, so... I'm going to try this out. Hopefully this is going to work and obviously I will keep you guys updated. <laughs> with a cup of hazelnut oat milk latte and uh, I just put on some comfy clothes this is a very cozy set from um, Fashion Nova and today I really told myself you know what I'm going to adapt this positive mindset and recently I actually also felt um, you know a little bit better and everything but today I'm just going to be real with you today hits me harder than I thought. I really thought I would have such a productive but relaxing day at the same time and like clean my whole apartment and stuff like that. But um, today this Mother's Day and it just hit me so hard that I haven't seen my mom over a year. Honestly, it's been over a year, almost one and a half years since the last time I saw her and I'm not able I'm not able to see her, I'm not able to visit her and especially with the time zone difference it's just really hard because I'm only able to talk to her in the really early morning or really late at night um, throughout the whole day I'm not able to talk to her and also I'm really sad because today Sebastian had a phone call but he chose not to call me he chose to call his mom instead which in a way I understand but normally he splits his minutes between us and today he didn't call me at all so that sounds very dramatic it's just a phone call but when you literally live for a phone call per week and then you realize that you're not getting it this week it just hurts a lot so yeah, I've been just a little bit in a mopey, mopey mood and uh, I'm really sorry to disappoint you guys because I know you follow me for positivity and productivity and being organized but uh, <laughs> sometimes life just shows you some curveballs and I also want to say, I think I got one comment from a girl that said to me that I don't have real problems and um, I'm making you know, I'm, I'm being too dramatic and all I can say to that is that I obviously know that there are people way worse off than me and that I should be grateful that I have a roof over my head, food on the table and all that jazz, but that doesn't mean that I don't feel pain when I'm not near my family or when I can't speak to my boyfriend. Um, yeah, so I feel like everybody's feelings are valid and um, obviously you know I'm very grateful for the things I do have and practicing gratitude is also key to make yourself feel better so I'll definitely 
I'll definitely do a gratitude journal session later today when my mind is kind of up for it but that also doesn't mean that my feelings aren't, aren't valid or anybody's feelings aren't valid um, I think that this comparison and comparing different pain is such a toxic way to look at life um, because everybody's going through their own struggles everybody's on their own path and um, I, I obviously don't know what kind of pain you guys are going through, what kind of difficult situation your guys are going through and same for me um, I try to be open with it, I try to be honest and genuine and that's why I share these things um, it honestly feels sometimes like you know I'm talking to one of my close friends online and even though we never met I definitely feel a connection with all of you so that's why I share these things and hopefully anybody that's going through the same things feels a little bit less alone because this is a time in our lives that a lot of us feel alone so I just want to say that whatever people have to tell you about your struggles and that your struggles are not as bad as other people yes totally 100% agree I, I don't deny it but that doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt you know it doesn't mean that your feelings aren't valid too so that's just what I wanted to say right now I'm kind of debating if I still want to go rollerblading or if I'm just going to watch a watch a movie and uh, you know be comfortable um, we'll see we'll see what I'm gonna do but first I'm going to enjoy this um, this coffee <laughs> honestly I just really need a girl week with you I need to oh my gosh I, that's what I need honestly oh, oh yeah. yeah but yeah. Ju don't judge me please it's it's pretty no. bad <laughs> Never judge you, girl. thanks Never. Tired of being forced in, tired of being the moment I'm leaving without a purpose Wearing it on the surface, love, making it look good Meanwhile it's been hurting, oh self-love is the best love See your love is the worst drug slight change of plans because I am actually going on a yoga session my very first yoga class of 2021 um, yeah and I'm honestly really excited for it because I think this is exactly what I need for my mind to be at ease um, if you don't know I used to do yoga pretty much every day I used to go to um, a school nearby literally every day but um, because of COVID, unfortunately they closed down and um, ever since I haven't really found a motivation to go and also because of COVID I was kind of like scared to go but um, one of my new friends actually, she recommended me this yoga studio that has a yoga rooftop so it's going to be outdoors on a rooftop so I will feel way safer doing um, yoga there and uh, yeah, I just quickly want to show you my outfit I'm wearing all Alo yoga uh, then with my yoga mat that matches and um, my blucker, I think this is called blucker, water bottle. So now it is time to go because my Uber is almost here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for my first yoga class of the year. Really, really fun. on another aspect as you're making shapes with your body. So from the Radiant Sutras, just bear with me for two minutes or so. 
So what is prana? Prana is filled, full, the breath of life, respiration, spirit, vitality, the five vital airs, prana, apana, jnana, samana, and udana. These are all the different directions in which the prana can move up, down, around, from in to out. Um, breath as one strength, vigor, energy, power, with all one's strength or with all one's heart. So you are invited during this practice to enjoy the play of prana, the universal breath of life, and jiva, the individual soul. The way the breath of life condenses into you. Another play of opposites, right? Our up and our down breath. Upward into the sky above you and downward into the brightness of the pelvis where all of our creation is. So a good way to practice this today will be if the mind begins to wander, you can play with these two mantras. As you inhale, you can say to yourself, Jiva, which is for you, the individual. And then as you exhale, it's prana. It's the universality of everything that's in existence. Goodbye, can't seem to find my mouth in any way So I'll give you my body Just don't tell nobody So I usually don't really share whatever I write in my diary, but because this list made me feel so much better. Honestly, sometimes the simplest things like practicing gratitude and grounding yourself can be so empowering. I wanted to share it with you. Um, so these are just a few things that I'm grateful for. First of all, I'm grateful to be able to move to Los Angeles and pursue my dreams because I know how unique of a position that is and how yeah, how amazing it is to be able to do something that you love. Second, having people in my life that love me, from my mom to Sebastian to my friends. Sometimes it can feel very lonely moving to a different country by yourself, but knowing that there are some people scattered all over this world that care about me makes me feel better. Then thirdly, knowing I can believe in myself to be okay. Trusting in my own strength, even when times of adversity. This is one about my own personal strength, because if there's one thing that I think I admire most about myself, and I don't mean this in an arrogant way, I just mean this in a way of self-love, is that I am very perseverant and I never give up. I never let life knock me down. Like, even... When I feel down, I still get my shit together. I still do my things. I never am 100% defeated. So in that sense, I'm proud of myself. And then having an incredibly unique and enjoyable job and lots of kind and inspiring people all over the world that support me, which is obviously you. So I'm very grateful for having you in my life. And then having met Sebastian and falling in love with him. Regardless of how everything is going to go, I am very happy that I met him and that I have experienced such an amazing love because I know how rare it is to to love. So that's um that's everything. That's it for uh, my gratitude list for tonight. So yeah. <laughs>